if a person who gets cured of cancer and lives for 20 more years but he is not saved what really good will it do to him if he will go to the place of eternal separation without cancer what good does it do to a man who is blind listening to his earphones if you give him a sandwich and you fed him well but he's walking to a cliff will feeding him it's good it make him feel but good but for a moment but in the long term that sandwich is not good for him and if we feel like the Holy Spirit comes to only give people sandwiches who are on their way to a cliff we are wrong if our notion is that Holy Spirit wants to just protect Lot's daughters but in 12 hours they are going to be burned by the flame Holy Spirit cares about bigger things than just that that's why some cases you see God might not be involved in healing someone but he pays more attention to saving somebody else's soul that's why you see Jesus did not get the man off of the cross but he got that man saved why because he knew the way this man's gonna die will matter very little in the eternity but how this man is gonna die now that is gonna be a difference many times people offend about God they say well I don't believe in God because my mother died out of cancer or my best friend had in a car accident and a drunk driver hit him where was God in that there's something more important than the events surrounding your death how many of you remember whether you were born through c-section or you were born naturally you do you don't you don't remember not one emotion associated with your birth but it was so painful but it was so hard but you at today you will not be able to recall one second of how you were born when you die it will not matter how you die you will not remember and it will not be important in the eyes of eternity and many people break their faith over the fact how people die instead of focusing their faith of how they live their life yeah. I want us to make a decision today miracles are good but even if you don't experience a certain miracle in your life remember the greatest miracle is not getting a sandwich as you're walking to a cliff the greater miracle is that you will let Jesus guide you from the cliff and guide you into heaven it's good to see blind eyes open but if these blind eyes don't see Jesus in heaven listen the Bible says it's better to go to heaven without eyes than to go to hell with them the Bible says it's better to go to heaven without a leg and to go with both legs straight into hell it is good to have a miracle when God restores your leg but it's better even if you hop on one leg but you hop to heaven it's better to suffer here and go to heaven than live in riches here and end up in hell i want to challenge you the greatest miracle is not your healing the greatest miracle is not your breakthrough the greatest miracle is not when god supernaturally protects you the greatest miracle is when you can hear god say run from sodom and you pack your bags and you run from sodom that is the greatest miracle